the last dope slam dunk competition was in 2014, 2015, when you had Aaron Gordon and Zach Levine going, they going back and forth. And them young, them, them young fellas, they put on a show. And that's been the best show in the slam dunk. So we're talking almost 10 years ago. We had the Celtics, Jalen Brown, uh, the Heat, Jaime, Yaquez Jr., Jaquez Jr., I'm sorry, uh, Mac McClung, who was the defending champ of the G League. And we had Jacob Toppin of the New York Knicks in the slam dunk competition. And let me just say this. I went into this. I tried to have an open mind. Uh, but I was like, you know what? I already know Mac McClung was going to re- I said he's going to defend his title because if you don't know, he won it last year in Philly and he put on the show last Man, year. I don't see nobody. I don't see nobody beating him in this contest, especially when I saw who the contestants were. Uh, don't I didn't know much about Jalen Brown as a, a contest dunker. Didn't know. Didn't know nothing about no Jaime Jacquez Jr. Didn't know anything about him. And then definitely didn't know Jacob Toppin. Now, I knew his brother, Obi Toppin, I believe that's his name, with the Knicks. Uh, he was in it last year. Speaking of which, it was kind of cool. Jacob Toppin actually did a dunk where he dunked over his brother, Obi Toppin. Again, I thought that all these guys did that. They jumped over somebody. I'm like, can we, can we just, can we leave that in 2023? Can we leave when it comes to dunk contests, jumping over people, jumping over chairs, jumping over objects? Can we leave that? back in 2023 for dunks but again that all of them pulled did one of those uh and J- to me Jalen Brown did the, the funniest one that definitely was an epic fail well actually he did two the one he did was with uh uh he did a, it, it it was a pretty nice dunk but then he tried to to incorporate uh former Celtic D Brown when D Brown did the dunk and he he put his hand in his elbow his arm like that uh, but Jalen Brown did that, but hell, he didn't do it until after he had already dunked the ball. So I'm like, what the hell was that? But again, that was one, and I just like, okay, that was whack. And then the second one was when he uh, he had on he dunked, he did a dunk, and he had a glove on his on his right hand. I'm like, then my my my, my bro, my little bro Antoine Banks, he was in my chat. He's like, did, do this dude got on the MJ glove? I was like, man, this dude had on the gloves. So I, I was assuming he was going to go hee-hee after he dunked, but he didn't. So why did he have a glove on his right hand and dunk with his left? I, I don't know, but I, I guess that was his way of being creative. I just thought that was hilarious. That was an epic fail. So again, the slam dunk contest, man, Mac McClung, he did his thing. He won it with a 50. He dunked again. He jumped over a, a human and a big human at that. He Shaq, he jumped over Shaq and basically did the same dunk that he did last year that won it. Uh, same technique. He just jumped over Shaq and did it this this week. And it was nice. It was dope. Yeah, I gave it a 50. Yeah, it was it was nice. But again, the, the slam dunk competition was anticlimactic. Mac McClung, he won it again. He defended the champ. I predicted that he would. And uh, I, I just think the NBA should think about changing the whole format of this slam dunk contest or even getting rid of it. If you're going to do it, I would say go find some of the best street ball dunkers, YouTube dunkers out there. Give them a, a competition. Give them a dunk off and bring all four of the best dunkers that you found on social media or even on the street street ball uh, and, and, and let them compete for $100,000 and then let that be it and give them a trophy. I just think a lot of the... Uh, the NBA stars don't want to compete. Uh, that was another topic that was brought up by DJ Sullivan. And the stars don't want to compete. Yeah, and the stars stopped competing years ago. Uh, I miss the days when MJ and Dominique and all those guys would compete and want to play and want to be in a dunk contest. But I think now a lot of these 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 newer generation of cats, they don't, with social media being such a big thing, I think they don't, they afraid that if they don't win, you know, guess what? Now, now that video lives in infamy because it's all over social media, and it will always be around. So I think, I think a lot of them fear failure, just like LeBron has never entered a slam dunk contest, which I find it kind of funny. But I don't look at LeBron as a slam dunk contest type cat. I don't think I, I'm not saying he ain't creative, but he just doesn't seem like that type of cat that will do something in a competition that'll make you go ooh. Uh, but I do know the two guys that I would I would think would, would I would like to see would do it. That would be the Grizzlies, John Morant, and the uh, Pelicans, Zion Williams, Williamson, if he could stay healthy. 
those would be the two cats that I think if they entered the slam dunk contest, it would definitely uh, bring it bring a little bit more interest. The interest level would, would go sky high. So again, that was 